Hey, Regicide. Um, want to tell you the story of Noah and the Ark. Um, a long, long time ago, people were being bad, doing bad things, and God decided that it was time for a clean start. So he decided he was just going to flood the world. Big water come up, destroy everything. But he wanted to save some people. He wanted to save some of the animals, so that to start over. So he found Noah, a good man, and he told Noah, Noah, I want you to build an ark. I want you to build a box. 60 cubits by 30 cubits, three stories tall. And Noah said, okay, God, you know, you're in charge. So he built a box, 60 cubits by 30 cubits, three stories tall with a door and a roof. And it started to rain. And Noah opened the door to the ark. And all of the animals started coming in. Two of each kind and six of each kind that was good to eat. So there were six cows. Six pigs. Six sheep. Two horses, because you know you don't need horse. Anyway. So all of these animals came in. And Noah had food stacked up inside. Didn't know how much he'd need, but he had a whole bunch of food stacked up inside. Two lions came in, two elephants. And while they were all inside, all of the animals were eating grass. So you didn't have the lions chasing the rabbits. You didn't have things like that. And Noah shut the door, and the rain kept falling. For 40 days and 40 nights it rained. So it rained and rained and rained and rained, and the water rose. And the water rose up over the top of the tallest mountain. And then after the 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. And then Noah sent out a bird, sent out a raven. And the raven came back, waited a few days, sent out a dove. And the dove came back with an olive branch, which showed that the land was beginning to dry out. And he sent out a bird the third time, and the bird didn't come back, which meant that it found a place to nest. So he waited until the water receded and the grass started to grow, and he opened the door and let all of the animals out. Now, this was one of my mom's favorite, favorite stories. She just loved the story of Noah and the Ark. She had all of these little tchotchkes of Noah and the Ark, all of these little ornaments and things. And there was a song that we sang in Sunday school about Noah. God said to Noah, there's going to be a floody, floody. God said to Noah, there's going to be a floody, floody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. The animals, they came by twosies, twosies, twosies. Animals, they came by twosies, twosies, twosies. Elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. It rained and rained for forty daisies, daisies, rained and rained for forty daisies, daisies, really drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out. And dried up the landy, landy, everything was fine and dandy, dandy, children of the Lord. So, that's most of the story of Noah and the Ark. In addition to all of the animals in Noah, there was his wife, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives, who weren't named. So there were eight people in all, 
two of every animal, six of every good deed animal. And I mentioned how my mom had all of these Noah in the Ark tchotchkes and stuff. This is one of her giraffes um, that she had. And we actually got this giraffe in Africa. So that's really kind of cool. Anyway, so that is the story of knowing, oh, the most important part. The most important part of the story I forgot at the end. After Noah and his family got out of the ark, God put a rainbow in the sky. This was the first rainbow. You know, the big bright colors of the rainbow. And the rainbow is a promise that God was never going to flood the land again. So the rainbow is a promise that the rain is going to end and that there will be dry land eventually, or that there will always be dry land still. Have a great day, Rowan.